Hello. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. Where is the website? Where is the website? Hopefully I got that on there right. All right. So they're Llewellyn products. This one is. There's the website Llewellyn.com, and there's some other social media links. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. Support of Oracle Cards, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. Uh, website for this one is shewhoisart.com. I think there's a couple other ones back there. Feel free to freeze frame and check out whatever you're interested in. And I use dice. I use a 22-sided dice. Uh, for the Major Arcana, 22, I use a 0. Uh, for the Fool, because there's 21. Yeah, you know. And... The, I have a 14-sided dice for the minor arcana and a 4-sided dice to choose the element. Um, they came from, is it MathArtFun? MathArtFun.com So if you're interested in any of that, that's where they came from. Alright, that being said, um, if you want a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching. And now on to your read. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. Those readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Let's get them all out before we get too excited. So we like what we have. Let's, what do we, um, it's ironic where this is coming from. Are you willing to give life a chance is what I'm really getting. You've been holding yourself back is what I'm getting too. Um, definitely been holding yourself back and for good reason. There's something in your past, it could be a work-related thing, could be a social thing, could be a romance thing. Um, and there was a very devastating moment in the past. <clears throat> for, for example, a work situation. Maybe you used to be in management, and that job ended very painfully. So you're like, you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't want to be in management. It's just the way it went. I don't want to do it. Vice versa, or another version is socially. Maybe you were involved in a social group, and you had a lot of backstabbers just kind of like cause problems for you and make your life a living hell. So you're like, you got out of that situation and you're like, because of that, you don't want to do it again. Another version, of course, the lover's thing. Somebody screwed you over and you're like, well, I've had a couple times of that happening and I'm kind of done. I'm taking myself out of the game. Could be anything like that. Could be something else I didn't even mention. But because of that very painful ending, you have stagnated your life in that category and you have not allowed things to come forward. I feel like some of you might technically say, like, for example, if it was the romance thing, oh, I've gone on some dates, just nobody's gotten my interest. You might have technically gone on dates, but you weren't emotionally available is what I'm getting. You shut down, you couldn't put yourself out there because it's hard to trust people because of what some other people have done to you. Um, same thing with the, if it's one of those other categories. Maybe you've actually put in some effort to try to make it happen again, but emotionally you couldn't get yourself to make that jump because you're like, I don't want to get my butt kicked like that again. So what's coming forward is a good question. Opportunity is coming forward again. It's start, the energy is starting to rise. We got the Empress half in, half out, and we got the Ace of Fire showing up half in, half out. These things are in question. Are you ready to move forward? It is something where the universe is saying, like, this is something you're, you're meant to do. Um, technically, you could sit out this one again. But they're saying it's going to keep coming around, and your life is not going to progress without this aspect of your life. You're stagnating your whole life. It's starting to stunt your growth a lot. So whatever it is, they're saying it's time to do it again. 
it's holding back your life if you don't. You clearly have the right to not do it again. If you're like, nope, nope, I don't care. I'm not doing it, and that's that. Then that's that. But they're saying you, you're meant to survive these things. You're meant to overcome these things, and you're meant to achieve better things, like not letting the past hold you down but learning from the past. It's kind of like realizing, like, you know, what did I get involved with in the past? I didn't deserve it, but, like, were there certain traits? It's like I can look at my own life, to be fair, and, like, there's certain people I used to let in my life, and I wasn't realizing the toxic traits that they had. Um, and it's kind of like it made me a little gun-shy to, like, be a part of certain situations because of it. But then when you start looking back and you kind of, like, audit it a little bit, you're like, you know what? They said some negative things. They did treat me kind of weird, and I called it out. And then they changed the behavior. But even though they changed the behavior, it was still there just in a different, different way. And it's kind of like realizing that like certain people I let in my life, they had signs and I knew it when they were coming towards me, like they had issues, but I just kind of decided that I wasn't going to let that be a problem, even though sooner or later it did. It's kind of like realizing like when you see somebody who like does that white lie thing and they like promote that white lie thing, I don't know how to explain this, like when people use white lie and they like to explain that they use white lies, it's almost like they're trying to validate that you're going to catch them lying every now and then, but it's only little lies, so it's okay. That's not okay. I'm sorry, but like if somebody has to explain that they use white lies constantly, that's a problem. People, I've never seen somebody who uses the excuse of white lies who doesn't also participate in big lies. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um... Like, people may do it, but it's when they explain it that I notice it. Like, when, they're, when they, like, try to validate their choices through that explanation, I just, it's like a red flag. In my opinion, it's a red flag. So it's like, I feel like that's one of the things I've learned the hard way. <laughs> people are like, oh, it's a white lie. I guess it's fine. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm, I, again, I've never seen anybody in my personal life that hasn't explained that to me. And then later on... I've noticed they have bigger lies. Like, they're just trying to validate their lying. I'm just I'm just saying. It's just one of my things um, that I've learned the hard way. It's hard to move forward. It's hard to allow yourself to do this. The thing is, you are very smart, and you've learned some things. It's a burden to try to try again. It's kind of like, I want to be optimistic. I want to give it a shot again, but I'm nervous about it. The thing is, you can protect yourself by participating. You can call things out. Usually Aquarius is pretty good at calling things out, in my opinion. Um, usually pretty good. And it's kind of like, you can use this situation to your advantage. It's kind of like, I remember one person, one of the things that screwed them over is they had a joint account with a, with a partner. And that went really sour at one point. They decided going forward, they just weren't going to do joint accounts with anybody anymore. You can still have that. that that's fine. Um, this isn't saying, like, whatever the situation is, you have to do it the same way. You don't have to do a joint account, for example. You can keep your accounts a separate thing but still participate in a relationship and just be like, you know what, I'm more comfortable. Just my stuff stays in my control. Your stuff stays in your control. If we have to come together with something, you know, we just transfer the money. One, one of us buys it. The other one just transfers the, the half that they were going to spend on it. That's it. That's how we'll do it. You can do things in a different way. You don't have to do things the way other people do it. And you know that. Usually Aquarius is excellent with that. Like just because everybody else has this cookie cutter way of living life doesn't mean you're going to do that anyway. So you have other ways of doing things. Use your strengths. Do things your way. You can still move forward. You can still give things a shot. Just do it on your terms. Probably to your advantage. That way you can get unstuck in this situation. Which I feel like is also stagnating other parts of your life. Now... It's the next thing. If you're able to get past that part, you do have value. You have something of high value coming to you with this Ten of Pentacles. Um, something that looks like it's going to stay or want to stay in your life for quite a while. It's just you. I'll even acknowledge this. You fighting yourself and getting past this moment where I don't feel like it's going to go to my advantage. I feel like I'm always working at a deficit. You fighting yourself and getting past that is the first step. So if you're able to do that, which technically I feel like you are. If you're willing to do that, I think is a better way to put that. Um, here's how the next part plays out, which is very interesting. Queen of Cups shows up with the um, 
hanged man releasing. It's on its side, so it's releasing. Nothing's going to happen in five seconds, but it's starting to show up. Don't get caught up in the gender. But I'm getting the lover's... This is the card there that this is explaining. Possibilities coming in, something you really do want, something you're very nervous about. Um, but it's it's like you have a chance to release this energy and try again, whatever this is. Could be a romance, could be a friendship, could be a job situation like we explained in the beginning. But giving yourself a chance is the thing because the passion will be there this time. Um, I feel like that was a problem in the past why it hasn't been happening, but it's showing up this time. Whatever this is, you do want it. You do want it to happen. So having the passion isn't going to be a problem. The thing is, going forward to the next phase, what you don't want to do, which is ironic, but you might fall into this trap. You might fall into this trap where you're like, okay, this is great. I love this. Let's just see how far it'll take me. We don't want to do it that way, which may seem ironic. Um, we don't want to just kind of be like, all right, maybe this time it will work. I don't know why, but it might be a rote routine. It might be something where you just like, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's just see where it goes. And just kind of like have best foot forward attitude. It makes sense why you'd want to, but they're saying don't do that. Here's what they're saying to do. Be. <laughs> if the situation matches you, it will work. I know it's going to sound odd, but be critical of it a little bit. Be critical and make sure that whatever you're dealing with knows that you're there because you want to be, and if it doesn't work out, you can leave at any time. Um, the Emperor is a very honest, but very, like, it can be very brutally honest. And Aquarius can roll with that. You want to be right on the forefront, kind of like, listen, I like it for now. As long as it stays good, I'm here. But if this starts to go sour, if I get started to treat be treated badly, you're going to have to find somebody else to help you out because I'm going to leave in five seconds. I'm not putting up with this. And it doesn't have to be like, it's not like a uh, uh, thing, but it's just kind of like just flat out, this is just the truth. I'm not hanging around if this goes south. If you treat me well, I treat you well, we go very far. If I treat you well and you think you're going to abuse me, I got to go. I'm not even going to hang out for it. You're not going to get a chance to explain it. Once it starts, you're just going to realize that I'm not here anymore. You can explain it to the wall. I'm not even going to show up for the explanation. I don't care. Um, I know it seems very rough, but I'm just like, if you set that standard right in the beginning, you set that line, I feel like the other side's going to match it. And the other side's going to be like, you know what? I feel the same way. Same thing. I won't treat you bad, but if you do the same to me, I'm out too. And I feel like that's going to be very comforting. Like, we're not going to treat each other badly. We're not going to do that ridiculousness. And we both set the standard. Like, if it starts going bad, you're just going to see the empty space where I used to be, and that's going to be that. I know it sounds harsh, but I get, like, for Aquarius, it makes sense. Like, I'm just being right on the level with you. I'm not putting up with it. Because whatever you're connecting with, be it business, social group, romance, whatever it may be, it matches your energy with intellect. It respects it, and it's kind of like, I feel the same way. We're not going to play those games. We're going to keep on point. I feel like there's also going to be this, like, every now and then we're going to check in with each other or we're going to, like, call each other out. I don't think Aquarius has a problem with that. Every now and then this, this energy is going to call you out and you're going to be like, no, no harm, no foul, because I'm going to do the same thing. I don't see you having a hard time with that. Kind of like, go ahead, call me out, because I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. Go right ahead. I don't, I don't mind. I'll call you out, too. <laughs> I don't see you having any problem with it. The Fool card in question, and then the Page of Cups, um, also in question. We want to keep an eye on the situation, whatever it is. Every now and then we want to do that self-audit thing. Um, some people have holiday triggers, I've noticed. Like, when I say holiday tr triggers, like New Year's or maybe some other major event, sometimes Halloween for some people, I've noticed. Or Samhain, Halloween, Samhain, they're kind of similar but different. Definitely different, I know. But similar but different. Same time of year, I guess I should say. Um, I feel like you should get in a pattern of like once a year at least. Or maybe even seasonal. Like when you take out certain clothes or you, you switch over from summer to winter, winter to summer. You want to evaluate this connection. You want to ev evaluate this situation. and Just kind of like do like a quick audit. Like is this, am I happy with this? 
And if, if I am happy with this, why am I happy with this? Am I not happy with this? If I'm not happy with this, why am I not happy with this? Or quite frankly, if that the scary one is, it's okay. Either it's here or it's not. I'm good either way. Definitely ask, why am I okay if it's here, yes or no? If it doesn't matter if it's here or not, why am I okay with that? You might want to really ask that question. Um, a lot of times, even if you're not happy with it, it doesn't mean it's a fail. It might be like, okay, I'm unhappy with it, but like at a scale of one to 10, um, you know, 10 being I'm very happy, one and I'm completely disgusted, maybe this is like at a four. So it's like, I'm not really happy, or maybe it's even at a three, whatever. It's fixable, but maybe there's something here I need to address. Maybe there's something like that, and that might come around. Because I feel like you're going to get very bonded to the situation. You're going to get very tied into it. But it's kind of like every now and then if you do those self-audits, and then you call it out, it, it, it doesn't have to go bad. Uh, and if it's good, and you're calling yourself out, like, I do like it, and this is what I like, you'll just reinforce something you already like to make sure it stays. So it's a good idea to do that if you can. Um, this next situation coming forward, make sure that your past heals from it and doesn't hold you back. We all have baggage from life. I just, I just don't think it's possible to go through life and not have some form of baggage. Like, I had to explain this to, to somebody once, like, even if it's your first relationship when you're a teenager, you have emotional baggage from the way you were raised, for the things you went through as a child, you have emotional baggage anyway. Even though it may be your first relationship, you still have baggage that you have to deal with. It's still there. It's letting this situation heal in the sense of like, there's things in the past that have happened that I'm still afraid of because it blindsided me maybe. But it's kind of like, these things aren't happening in this current situation. So like, I'm looking at the past and looking at the current situation and I'm comparing the two and I'm like, what's the differences here? And I'm letting the past heal from what's going better now. Vice versa, we don't want to just get into this rut like, okay, I'm very comfortable, but I know that this goes sour some way because this is always what's happened in the past. We don't want to let the past hold us down. Which is like why doing some of these self-audits, like, I'm not happy. Why am I not happy? Because I'm like, I just know that other shoe's going to fall at any point, at some point. Where is that coming from? Why do I feel that way now? How, what do I need to communicate better? Do I need to check in with something to make sure that this isn't going that way? Uh, so make sure the past heals from your current situation and the past doesn't hold down the situation. I hope I said that correctly. Um, I've always found that this, I don't care who somebody is, having healthy boundaries is extremely important. You also have the right to reevaluate and change your boundaries. Just make sure you communicate it clearly. Aquarius is very good at communication, most likely. Usually that's a very strong suit of Aquarius. Communication, you're usually really good at it. Always remember that you have the right to change your boundaries. If you had boundaries to begin with, and you're like, you know, over time I've decided that boundary isn't working for me anymore. I need to reevaluate it. I need to reset it. Remember that you have the right to do that and make sure you do that. Is there anything else with that? Whatever this is, I like it for you. I think it's a good thing. I feel like they're saying, you know, it's coming forward. If you want to step out and don't want to play, then you don't. It is holding you back. But they're saying there's something good coming forward. Let it work to your advantage if you can, if you wish. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.